Creepshow Art is a former YouTuber who was known for her commentary, art, and storytime videos. She had a massive subscriber base of over 500,000 people at her peak, and it looked like her channel was just going to keep growing and growing until she got to the coveted 1 million subscriber mark. All of that would change on June 2nd of 2021, when an admin on a website called Locale would open up a huge can of worms for people to dig through, in which people did so. Before we get into Creepshow Art's downfall, let's take a look at her beginnings on YouTube. Creepshow Art created her channel on April 4th, 2016, but wouldn't start posting videos on it until March 20th of 2018, starting off making simple storytime videos with her drawing whatever she felt for the viewers to watch. The very first video uploaded to her channel was Addicted to Storytime Creepshow Art, but it has since been privated. While her channel first started off making art related videos, such as Art Styles Not an Excuse to Be Terrible at Art and Instagram Hates Artist, she soon started to shift her content into more drama related videos, such as Daddy05 is Back as a SoundCloud rapper and Nicole Arbor is Back as an Instagram comedian. Her shift in content proved to be pivotal for her growth on YouTube, as only a little over a year after she started making videos, she got to 100,000 subscribers on June 14th of 2019. While she was still making her art related videos, it started to slowly turn into more drama related with her videos of her drawing art as just background footage and nothing more. You can't blame her for doing so, it was bringing in more viewers and subscribers, and that's what everyone's end goal on YouTube is, to get more views and more subscribers. She would keep making her drama videos and keep growing at a very good rate seeing 200,000 subscribers on March 1st of 2020, and then 300,000 subscribers on September 5th of 2020. Of course, with her shift in content came in a shift in how she acted, and she would show a glimpse of what was to come on December 1st of 2020. That day, Creepshow Art would put out a now-deleted tweet that reads as follows. Before I hit 100k, I was friends with another creator. This creator later spread lies about me, told people I was psychotic, and I screamed at her and basically poisoned potential friendships with other people in the art community. People had no idea who Creepshow Art was shading as at the time she was still in a very good spot. She didn't have too many big dramas surrounding her, so for her to just say something about somebody was out of the norm. Later on that same day, she would clear everything up as she would put out this tweet. This tweet was about Hopeless Peaches, finding out that she had told multiple creators who she knew I admired that I screamed at her and attacked her when I viewed her as a little sister really sucked. Thank you Prison Mate Luke for talking about it. She released the video Hopeless Peaches Needs to Stop a little less than a week later on December 7th of 2020, going over her discontent with Hopeless Peaches and framing her to be the bad guy in the entire situation. Sure, did she purposely go out of her way to tell people that she knew I liked and admired in this community that I told her I liked and admired that I was a terrible person who deserved to be taken off the platform? Absolutely yes. Did she tell them that due to a disagreement that I had flipped out on her, which did not happen, and told people that I'm a volatile mess? Yeah, sure. But in my head, that wasn't that bad. And if that was her interpretation of me, that was fine. Hopeless Peaches would make a response video herself around mid-December, but soon privated the video due to all the hate she was getting. There'd be radio silence for the next three months, and on March 18th of 2021, she'd release a second and final response video showing how some of the screenshots that Creepshow Art used were fake, and how she had a past history of leaving out context and important information to form a narrative on people she dislikes. That was the end of this drama. Hopeless Peaches showed to people that Creepshow Art isn't exactly what you might think. Creepshow Art was shown to twist things in her own favor, but at the time, no one could tell if it was purposefully or out of ignorance. Well, people would soon learn how she is behind the scenes and that it was a very calculated attack on the faithful day of June 2nd, 2021. Locale.farm, a website used for mainly talking about drama related to internet celebrities and whatnot, outright exposed Creepshow Art on June 2nd of 2021. They outed her for violating the website rules by getting her IP address and making a thread showing off every post that she had made on the site, and people were more than shocked to say at the very least at what they saw. You had post after post of her talking bad about close friends such as D'Angelo Wallace and Ready to Glare, and saying things that she wouldn't dare say on her channel, her Twitter, her Instagram, any of her social media pages. She would of course talk bad about people she didn't like, such as Hopeless Peaches, but one thing that was interesting to see is that she would talk bad about herself, not just about other people. One post in particular caught my eye. She says she doesn't rely on YouTube, but I think she makes a considerable amount on it. 
I've talked to a YouTuber her size and they make at least 20k per month. That mixed with a real life job, she's probably loaded pretending to be poor. She outright brags about her finances under the guise of anonymity, all while dissing herself in the process as so people don't raise any suspicion thinking that it's her. That post right there is when I got interested in the drama, as this wasn't just somebody talking bad about their friends behind the back. They would talk bad about themselves, as if they're trying to somehow get away with what they're doing, so that people don't think, hey, this is Creepshow, oh no, Creepshow wouldn't talk bad about herself, who does that anyways? And of course, if I'm interested in the drama, so is the rest of the entire art community. Creepshow Art herself wouldn't do anything to try and quell the flames of the ever-growing fire, as she would make a community post on her YouTube channel on June 5th, 2021, trying to explain the entire situation to her fans. The post is a very, very short story as some people might put it, and there isn't a single sentence of her trying to take any accountability for her actions. She puts the blame on this person named Amy, a supposed stalker that she had been dealing with for 8 years now at the point in time. There was one part of her post in particular that caught the eyes of many people. However, after being sent screenshots of what I allegedly said about me, myself, my friends, and most importantly my relative, I realized what had happened. A couple years back I made a video about how I'd been stalked for over 8 years by a woman I call Amy. That's not her real name because I was protecting her identity. I talked in detail about the situation, how it affected me, and what I had to do in that situation to keep myself safe. But I also discussed how Amy and I kind of reconciled at the end of that and came to an understanding. She even liked the video and supported me making it. We kept in contact over the past couple years and I thought I kept a good amount of distance between us, never letting her close enough to hurt me again. She then goes on and on about her experience with Amy, but by this point people already knew what was up. This post showed people how she wasn't willing to take any accountability for her actions, because at this point people already knew it was her. They had seen every post the local admins got together, and realized that Creepshow Art is a very two-faced person behind the scenes, and will do whatever it takes to make sure she ends up on the top of the ladder, even if it means demeaning her own friends behind the scenes and making up people entirely just to make up a story. The comments were riddled with people asking her to just own up to it, to leave the internet, and general distaste for a person they once respected in the art community and on the internet in general. Now this is where the video would normally end. Oh, Creepshow Art disappears from the internet forever. No one's heard from her since, blah blah blah. But this locale drama was just the very beginning of what we're about to see. If you thought it was bad already, just wait. You're gonna see how bad Creepshow Art truly is. On June 8th of 2021, Emily Artful, another art-centered YouTuber, comes out with a Twitter post exclaiming her relief as people are finally learning the truth about how Creepshow Art really is behind the scenes. Not the happy, go lucky drama reporting artist on YouTube, but the vile, manipulative scum of humanity, and then a little more at that. She talks about how Creepshow Art has been stalking her for multiple years, way before she even started her own YouTube channel, and how she threatened her family on multiple occasions, and even got Emily fired from multiple jobs at one point in time out of pure spite and hatred towards her. Emily claimed that it was both her ex-boyfriend Anthony and Creepshow Art that had been harassing her for the past decade or so, and it all really started with Anthony breaking up with Emily and getting with Creepshow Art soon afterwards. Emily would go on to make a post telling people that she was gathering evidence for her own video and for people to be patient as she got everything sorted out together. It's safe to say that the anticipation was building up because if what Emily claimed was true and she was able to prove it, it would be the final nail in the coffin for Creepshow Art's internet career and there would be no coming back from it. On the faithful day of June 12th, 2021, Emily Artful released her first video on Creepshow Art called Creepshow Art Has Always Been This Way, in which she goes over every single thing that has happened to her involving Creepshow Art and her ex-boyfriend Anthony. The two hour video is a daunting task to sit down and watch through, but the information she shows proves to everyone that Creepshow Art is a person who is very calculated with everything she does and it was corroborated by her now boyfriend Anthony. Emily talks about her beginnings with Anthony, how the relationship was extremely toxic, and how once she broke it off he went on to Creepshow Art and they both started to harass her. She also goes over how when Anthony and Creepshow Art were homeless, it wasn't because they were in a bad situation like Creepshow Art had been telling her viewers for years, it was out of their own accord, showing how she had been lying to her own fans for years now. 
There is one part of Emily's video that is just so shocking to me personally. It's toward the very end when Emily is talking about one of the many fake accounts made by Creepshow Art named Britta Filter, talking about how the person harassing Emily was their son who was obsessed with their content. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna let you guys listen to what Emily says. She'll explain everything herself. This will most likely be my last time using this account. I do appreciate your time, and I hope from the bottom of my heart and soul that you continue to do well. I pray you are able to forgive those in your life and I know you will continue to thrive. Thank you for at least listening to what I've had to say and letting me know that words have gotten to you. God bless. What a ripe crock of shit. What's crazy to me personally is that even with my little understanding of who Creepshow Art was at the time due to being new to the internet content creation sphere, I could see exactly who she is behind the scenes. A calculated manipulator who views her acquaintances as nothing more than people who could ruin her career. She would become friends with influential people only because they had the power to ruin her if something bad were to come out against her. But no one, not even her, not even her friends, was prepared for the locale leaks and Emily Artful's video, all within the span of 10 days. Something that I just couldn't get out of my head was the idea that the only reason Creepshow Art even started a YouTube career was just to spite Emily, as by the looks of it, the evidence seemed just like that. Just another way to harass and be above Emily. And once she actually started getting a real career going on, she had to start slowing it down, but she just couldn't control herself. Like clockwork, Creepshow Art's recent video started to get mass dislike bombed, people were writing in the comments how it's over for her, and the only thing she could do to save face is to admit to everything that she had done to Emily. But of course, people hear nothing. Complete radio silence. It seemed that Creepshow Art had left the internet for the time being. She had already deleted all her social media accounts by then, but there was still one account remaining, her YouTube channel. Creepshow Art would start to lose subscribers and fast. She started the month of June 2021 with a little over 500,000 subscribers and by the end of that month she was well below that mark, around 370,000. She currently only has about 336,000 subscribers as of this video, with the number going only lower and lower with every passing day. But this wouldn't be the last we heard from Creepshow Art though. On July 7th of 2021, Creepshow Art would reactivate her Instagram account and post a story claiming she was innocent, as well as her husband trying to scrub his existence from YouTube in a failed rebrand of sorts. She tried to get YouTuber Gabby Hanna to make a video on Ready to Glare, and when that failed, she went to Tipster to manipulate him into doing something similar. That failed as well, and so far has been the last time anyone has heard from her on the internet. Emily would go on to make a second video on Creepshow Art called Creepshow Art Did Not Work Alone and release it on August 21st, 2021. Going into even more detail on what her ex, Anthony, and Creepshow Art put her through with even more evidence being shown. By this point, it was over. Creepshow Art's internet career was officially done. Everything after this point was just proving how evil of a person she and Anthony are. And rightfully so, because we all need to learn more about Creepshow Art. What we saw in Emily Artful's first video was just a little tidbit into how she acted behind the scenes. The second video completely shows everything that we could have missed and then a little bit more. Creepshow Art never deserved her internet career to begin with. What she showed on the surface was just another drama YouTuber you'd run across, but little did anybody know besides Emily Artful, she was actually one of the most despicable people to ever have a career on YouTube. This has been the rise and fall of Creepshow Art. This was an interesting case of one of the most manipulative people I have ever seen on my short time on YouTube. I'm glad she's gone from the internet and she will never, ever be able to come back from what she's done. What's funny to think is that her downfall was all her own fault. If only she stopped pushing the limits on locale and just made her YouTube videos and Twitter posts, then nobody would have known how bad she truly is. A big thank you to Lolcow and Emily Arfo for showing everyone just how evil she is, and hopefully she will never show her face on the internet ever again. Tell me in the comments who you'd like a video on next, make sure to like and subscribe, and as always, with all of that out of the way, I will see you guys later.